With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The minimum projection velocity of a body from the Earth's surface so that it becomes the satellite of the Earth will be. So, let's say this blue radius is our Earth. This is Earth. And this red radius is the path of satellite. Now, if this uh, if this is the path of satellite, and let's say we fired it with some velocity v, then the force that in, that is pulling the satellite towards the Earth is f is equal to g m m upon r plus h, uh, where r is the radius of Earth and so squared, and h is the height above the earth's surface this satellite is revolving now since h is very very smaller than r i can approximate r plus h to be r that means f is equal to g m m upon r squared this is equation number one now this f will be balanced by m v square by r or mv square by r plus h. Once again, I can approximate r plus h as r. So, mv square by r. So, f should be equal to mv square by r. That means mv square by r is equal to g m m by r squared. r and r get cancelled. Small m and small m get cancelled. I get v is equal to g m by r to the power 1 by 2 now if i multiply uh, the numerator and the denominator with r so i get g m r upon r square by 1 by 2 now this term this term g m by r square is basically the acceleration due to gravity so this becomes 10 meter per second square that means v is equal to 10 into radius of earth to the power 1 by 2 and radius of earth in the question is given as 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6 meters so that gives us 10 into 6.4 into 10 raised to power 6 to the power 1 by 2 which is equal to 8 into 10 raised to the power 3 meter per second. So the answer is 8 into 10 raised to the power 3 meter per second. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.